Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to spend an entire day with you guys and with Benny, which is the dog that I adopted for my family. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've tried to make so many videos giving like a formal introduction to him and I just like end up not getting enough clips of him because I'm just having so much fun. I'm not recording or um, whatever it may be. So today... It's a dedicated day with him. I'm gonna go pick him up. I'm gonna take him to the beach for the first time um, He gets like really scared easily of Stuff he was adopted so I don't really know you know He was adopted from Mexico obviously living on the streets there so It's really interesting like sometimes we'll be on a walk and he'll extra carefully watch every person that walks past us or like loud noises that he's just like really scare him and he'll shake and it's really sad so I'm trying to get him like out of his comfort zone and get him used to stuff like this I want him to like the beach because both of our dogs love the beach and it would be great if he could come with us obviously all the time so yeah enough of that we're gonna go get him now and we're gonna spend the entire day with him we've acquired the package We've acquired the package. So happy. So we're at the beach now. Um, technically we're not at the dog beach, so like dogs are not allowed on the beach. But this guy, I'm telling you guys, he's scared of so many things. Um so okay, we were walking right down the beach, and you see how there's like all the sticks right there that's just like always at the beach. He literally would not wouldn't step on it like he did not want to cross them he was so terrified of them and I was like oh oh I'm like what the hell like what are we talking about here he did pretty good he oh. he started to like try to be less distracted with like people and other dogs and he's learning. Um, he's so cute. I know he's tired, so I have a bowl for him. I'm just gonna give him water. Like, oh, is that for me? Of course it's for you, baby. Good boy. Yeah, I think he likes that. <laughs> You're a furry little one. You get hot, don't ya? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think what I'm going to do now with him is I'm going to take him to the pet store. Um, I just want to get him a name tag for his collar because we haven't gotten around to doing that yet. And we took years to do that with Paris and Romeo and Romeo escaped twice one of the times he didn't have a name tag so it's really bad and this little stinker I want him to have a name tag so we're gonna go to this uh, pet store right now and we're gonna do that hi handsome so we just made it to the Petco and I'm gonna take him in see if they have like a little machine to make collars and maybe get him a treat or something something like that he was so hot on the way here I felt bad so I got him his little tag the phone number is on the back so I'm obviously not gonna show that and then I got him these which he did not eat when I tried to give him one but then I also got him a little his first little frozen yogurt um, they had these this is pumpkin and bacon I mean sounds good to me I'd eat it so let's see if he likes it oh yummy Oh yeah, you'll sit for that, huh? That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, he likes it, safe to say. And he was really hot earlier, so I felt like this was just like sitting in my face, like perfect for him, so I'm happy. So, I'm back home now. Benny? Benny? Um, so by the way, these 
are shit. Don't get them. None of the three dogs would eat them. Let me get a better. Okay, these. Don't get them. The dogs will not freaking eat them. None of them. I have three dogs. None of them will eat them. But I haven't eaten anything yet today. What time is it? Benny, stop. She doesn't want to play right now, okay? 1.30 and I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm going to find something to eat and hang out with the dogs. So someone peed inside the house and now he's in trouble. You are in trouble. Okay? You'll be in timeout for a minute and you can come back in and you can try again, okay? Be good. Don't scratch the window. Just wait. Okay? Okay? Just wait. So, I don't... I don't want him to be out there for long at all, obviously, but I don't want to let him in if he's crying and scratching at the door and just tell him that that behavior is going to get him. He's so cute, stop. That that behavior is going to get him inside. So I just want him to calm down and he can go back inside. He's pretty calm, but usually if I walk away, or not usually, I've never done this before, but if I walk, oh, no, Benny. I figured that I would kind of tell you guys a little bit about Benny, how I adopted him and everything like that. So, um, Benny, come here. Benny is a Corgi Terrier mix miniature schnauzer. They didn't tell me mini miniature schnauzer, but it did say that on his paperwork from the vet that he went to in Mexico. As I told you guys, he was taken from Mexico. I don't know much about like his backstory other than the fact that he came from Mexico. I'm assuming, you know, he lived on the streets. They rescued him. Um, um, he's six months old and he's not expected to get much bigger than he is. He, they said he will get bigger for sure, but not much bigger. He's just going to kind of fill out. Um, And I love him. I'm absolutely obsessed with him. Um, I literally am at my parents' house all the time trying to get to so that I can hang out with him. Um, and the adoption process was... See, it's such a longer, more difficult process to adopt. It's harder than just going to a breeder and getting the dog, you know. Um, but in the end, I just think it's so much more Benny, Benny in Paris, Benny in Paris. I think it's so much more just rewarding in the end. Um, so basically I found him on called Pet Finder. It's a really great app for finding dogs because basically instead of you having to go and like find the shelter, and then keep checking all these shelters. Basically, Pet Finder is like one big database that groups together dogs from all different shelters within like a 50 mile radius of you. And um, you can pick the breed, the age, how big it's gonna get, all this stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got him. I was checking that thing like crazy every day and I got him after like a month and a half of looking. Boy. Good, my little muffin man. Oh. So I had such a good day with this little monster. Um, I'm going to bring him back to my mom's house now and I'm gonna hang out with him there again or longer for like a couple hours. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get gas first before we go. You are so freaking handsome, goodbye. So I just dropped him off. I'm at a red light, so this lighting is quite atrocious. But I I hung out with him for a couple hours and I didn't record anything because like nothing happened. But I honestly feel such a connection with that dog. Um, I don't think I've ever had a dog that I feel like loves me so, so just as much as I'm like obsessed with it. And like when you find a dog that is just so like you know um because like our last dogs like they had like their people who were like their masters right is that like a word i don't know that sounds kind of bad but like 
Um, you know what I mean? And so like this dog, I don't know if it's because like I'm the one who went and picked him up and he knows that. I just like, I love him every day that I'm able to. I'm there, I'm driving to my parents' house to go hang out with him. Like I, I literally love this dog so much. Um, and my mom will call me and tell me and be like, yeah, like after I, like after I just left, she called me and she's like, he's crying at the door, blah, blah, blah. And like, I've genuinely never had a dog cry at the door when I leave. Like th that sounds like, oh my God, like I'm, a t I'm, an, I'm a, can I talk? I'm an attention whore, but like seriously, like I just, I absolutely love that dog. And I'm so glad that I finally like introduced him to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.